I should have just waited. MLB The Show, time and time again, continues to just drop absolutely awesome content. As we all know, Lucas Giolito threw the first no-hitter of 2020 this past week. I made a video with his Players League card thinking it would be fun to kind of celebrate a little bit, and uh, sure enough, a couple days later, <laughs> they come out with a 99 overall Lucas Giolito, a Topps Now card that is a 99 overall. That's unreal. Now, you might be thinking, oh my god, a 99 overall Topps Now card. This is going to be so expensive. How am I going to be able to get this card well it's actually pretty simple you literally get him for free <laughs> You don't have to do anything. 99 Lucas Giolito is a free card from the pack store. All you have to do is buy the pack. It costs you zero stubs. You open the pack and boom, there he is. 99 overall Lucas Giolito. That's, they just hand you a 99 overall like that. Once again, phenomenal content for MLB 20. So that's a fun little way to start the video, 99 Lucas Giolito, but that is not all we got in terms of content today. Keeping it with the Tops Now theme, we have some new Tops Now moments. We've got uh, a moment with Dansby Swanson, a moment with Kenta Maeda, we've got a Slam Diego Padres moment, we've got uh, Tristan McKenzie, what else we got? Trent Grisham, as well as Jose Abreu, all those are getting their own moments. And of course, when you complete the moments, you are getting a brand new Tops Now pack from August 17th to August 23rd. This one, you're only going to be able to choose two players. We've got Tristan McKenzie, a 94 overall from the Cleveland Indians with 110 Ks per nine and 99 break with a four pitch mix. Then we have a 125 power Trent Grisham card. Oh my god, Tops Now is juiced. And he's also a gold fielder in center. With 81 speed, this is an insane card. Dansby Swanson is getting a 96 overall, a nice shortstop with pretty balanced hitting attributes. Definitely a little bit better against righties, but he's got gold fielding with 85 arm strength. He can also play second and third. 97 Jose Abreu, 125 power against righties, 75 fielding. He's got 110 contact against lefties. He tied the MLB record with four straight at-bats with a home run. Unreal. We got one more. We got a 98 overall Kenta Maeda. 118, 110 on the hits and Ks per nine with 99 break, five pitch mix. Actually a pretty good pitch mix with a slider, a circle change, and a sinker. It might not be a terrible card. The speed differentials don't look great, but I don't know, maybe Maeda plays better than he looks. So Tops Now content is stupid good, but let's keep going because that's not all we got. We have a brand new roster update today. I'm gonna go through this relatively quick and just focus on the big things. Uh, Max Scherzer went back down to a 91. Josh Hader is up to an 89. Trevor Story and Bryce Harper are both up to 89 overalls. Juan Soto going up to an 87. We've got uh, JT Real Muto also going up to an 87. One of the first new diamond players we got is Manny Machado up to an 85 getting a major boost against uh, right-handed pitching and then Lucas Giolito we know they're quick to upgrade guys in the 60 game season they did it with Sonny Gray and then after the no hitter from Lucas Giolito he got that plus five to the diamond so he's sitting there 85 overall and then another brand new diamond Trey Turner of the Nationals Plus six, plus seven against righties with plus seven division. Brings him up to an 85. And then Jose Abreu also going up to an 85. Oh my goodness. He got plus 15 to contact and power against righties. He actually lost a little bit against lefties, but he's now a diamond. And we got another new diamond, Yu Darvish, up to an 85 with a plus 10 to the walks per nine. Let's talk about some dudes that are no longer a diamond because if they're going to add like five new diamonds in, some dudes are going to go down. Jose Jose Ramirez down to an 83. Nicholas Castellanos, this dude was a diamond. He got a quick diamond upgrade and now he's back to a gold at an 83. And then Chuck Nasty, everybody thought this dude was right there on the verge of having a 400 average season. He's only hitting 363, what a bum. We're still not done with the content though. We've got some new Conquest stuff. There is a brand new Jackie Robinson Conquest map. And if you complete it, you get a one-time boost of 35 program points in the Jackie Robinson Evolution program. And if you look at the Conquest map, 
It's pretty simple. Now, I already have the whole Jackie Robinson thing done, so I would just be doing this for, uh, like, basically packs and stubs at this point. But, yeah, I mean, if you haven't gotten 99 Jackie yet, this gives you a chance to get 35 points, and you don't really have to do much. And the last bit of content we got today is a brand new headliner card, the first 99 overall in headliner packs this year. And no surprise, we knew it was coming, they teased him on Twitter, 99 overall Todd Helton. Now, this card is cool, it's like a fun card, 103 power against righties with 81 against lefties, great contact, 89 fielding, he's a solid left hand first baseman but at this point in the game if you don't have hitting stats comparable to Babe Ruth it really doesn't feel like it's worth spending stubs on this guy but I am still gonna buy headliners because I am addicted all right let's rip these open and see if we get a little Todd Helton pull today I haven't pulled the featured headliner in the last few so I'm kind of hoping that I'm due for it but we'll find out uh oh I'm under a million stubs dude what am I gonna do I'm about to go broke. Come on, bro. One left. You got to give me Todd Helton. Give me something. We got four silvers and a gold. Ugh. All right, cool. I was able to snag Todd Helton for a pretty nice price. All right, so we're going to give Todd Helton a go at first base. He's going to be batting third in this lineup. And then, of course, we're going to try out the 99 overall Lucas Giolito. If they're going to give everybody a free 99 overall, we got to at least give him a shot. We love a little rank seasons on a Friday afternoon. I got to go against prestige Kerry Wood. Bro, I'm playing Weens. This dude's a beast. For real, this guy's like one of the best players in the world. And upon further review, sitting at a clean 1275 and the number one spot in ranked, we have Weens. I am prepared to get absolutely throttled this game. Okay, well, I mean, Biggio's giving us a nice start. A little double in the gap. Let's go. Well, there we go. We got two guys on and nobody out for Todd Helton. Full count to Todd Helton. Here we go. No, I just swung at ball four. What am I doing? I swung at ball four and it was already in the glove by the time I swung. What a terrible strikeout. Mickey Mantle. There we go. Base is loaded. One out for, I believe, Gary Sheffield. Two down. Did I miss it? I missed it, bro. I just had a bases loaded opportunity in the first and didn't score. I cannot let those opportunities go to waste against a player like this. Ooh, ooh, I like that slider. That actually went right where I wanted it to go. That was not a good pitch. First pitch fastball to Harper with a righty. Ugh. Bold move. Okay, Geo. This is the perfect storm of everything wrong. All right, well, we got two strikeouts with him in the inning, but we also allowed two guys to cross the plate. Oh, but Larry Walker's gonna put one on the board for us. Let's go carry, baby. It's out of here. Larry Walker. Touch them all. Not bad. I'm hitting prestige carry wood a lot better than I thought I would. Back to back bombs. Oh my God. I'm kind of locked in offensively. Even though I didn't score in the first inning, I still put up a good little rally with the bases loaded. And now we tied the game. I'm feeling, I'm feeling comfortable at the plate right now. And then I proceed to do that, but I'm actually going to be safe at first. <laughs> Trout, that ball's out of here. <laughs> I can't believe I just scored right there with the way Biggio got on. Everybody loves the show. Oh, what am I swinging at, bro? Todd Helton, 0 for 2. Okay, we actually gave Giolito a two-run lead. Now he's back on the mound. And we're getting the out on the first pitch of the inning. He missed that. He missed that. Three straight outs for Lucas Giolito. After we put up four, that's a huge one, two, three. Oh, are you... Carrie Wood is going to get a triple because Larry Walker couldn't make the play with diamond fielding. I know it's a tough play, but come on, man. 
And we're tied, of course, because Mike Trout's at the plate. How did Larry not make the play? <laughs> I don't know how I got Harper to strike out on a 95 fastball on the inner third. He was very early, like he was looking for it. That's a super unfortunate line out for him right there. I can't get Josh Donaldson out. It's just like MLB 19. With two outs. I just need him to get one more out. Literally one more out, Giolito. That's all I need, and Trout is not going to get that. Come on, bro. He's leading off the fourth inning. I don't want to take him out right now. I'm, I'm letting him go. I don't care if this turns into a mercy. He's getting out of this inning. There we go. Nice pitch, Giolito. And like I said, his spot in the order is coming up right now, so that's going to be it for him. All right, Todd Helton, we're on our third at-bat. I haven't done you any favors with the pitches that I've swung at, so, I mean, I'm not really blaming you, but let's go. Come on. Third at bat, let's turn it on right now. I mean, at least I put this one in play. Well, actually, I put the last one in play. But either way, it didn't turn out well. Good pitch, man. God, that's such a hard pitch to take at 100 miles an hour. And by the time I even decide to swing, it's already past me. And he blows 100 foot. Ah, I don't know what to say. Ever since the four spot in the second inning, the offense has slowed down tremendously. Like, I'm really having trouble squaring up anything. I don't know if Kerry Wood gets better as the game goes on, but I don't know. I really felt like I was seeing it well in the first two innings. And then after that, my timing just kind of went off off the rails and looking back I needed to score on that first inning bases loaded opportunity because we could possibly either be tied or in the lead right now if that actually went down so can't miss those against a player like this he hasn't taken his foot off the gas I did after the first two innings for some reason and he hasn't missed a beat still even the outs he's getting are, are some pretty hard hit outs so I, I got a really big mountain to climb for the last three innings of this game. There you go, Todd Helton. That actually that might leave. Oh my god, Todd Helton gets a solo shot. He actually did something. That barely left, too. Let's go, Helton. Way to show up. GG's, man. GG's. There's just no chance I'm going to contain this guy with my bullpen. Oh, my God. That wasn't even a bad pitch. Where the, why is Ernie running forward? Yeah. Like I said, GG's, boys. Man. Just can't even get him out at all. <laughs> There's just not much I can do here, boys. I'm not making very bad pitches. <laughs> oh my god. Does he ever miss? I'm surprised it took him this long to get to double digits. You gotta be kidding me. I was about to say. Ooh, Mike Trout. He's getting another little extra base hit before we head out of this game. And sets up Todd Helton for an at-bat with two outs in the ninth. I'm, I'm sending him. I'm not missing the chance to give Mike Trout a run. Yo, Todd Helton got two RBIs and two hits in this game. You got to give him props. And Mickey Mantle, yo, with two outs. Hey, all I'm saying is that we've put up a few runs. We're still a little ways behind, but let's see what happens. I don't know why I swung at that. Well, there goes the little sliver of hope. Bro, honestly, I don't even feel like I played that bad. Nine runs on ten hits on legend difficulty. I just had to go against literally one of the best players in the world. Todd Helton, two for five with a home run and two RBIs. And then Lucas Giolito, he only allowed six through three innings, which 
is not that bad against a player like this with a card like that. I don't know, boys. I'm totally happy with the way I played. I hung in there. So, hey, man, it's all good. I played Weens. He's literally number one on the leaderboards. I'm not too upset with the way I played at all. I gave it a good fight. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, though. Let me know in the comments what you think about Todd Helton and Lucas Giolito. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.